Hello, my name is Jacob Gatos, and I'm here today to talk to you about a perspective uh, product, Minutes Ramen, as well as represent my teammates, Don Phillips and Saja Mystery. So, in this presentation, I'm going to discuss the planning and concept development that's been completed thus far. We've gone through pr uh, product planning, we've met with customers to identify customer needs, we've done project management and outlined what we're going to do for this project in the form of a Gantt chart, and we've also determined if this product is going to be economically viable through some economic analysis that I'll touch on later. But first, let's start from the beginning. What were the specifications given to us for this product? We had to design something that would benefit the lives of a college student. At the very beginning, we introduced a bunch of concepts that were generated by all three team members, and through a tournament structure, we identified three opportunities that we deemed most viable. The first of which was a alarm clock that would require the student to get, that, get up out of bed to hit as it would be running around making noise and it would just really make sure the student wakes up. Ultimately we didn't move forward with this because it, we thought that it would be too similar to other products out there and the research revealed that it's just way too similar to other products. We also thought of a kayak stabilizer idea to help kayaks move more straight through long deep water uh, passages. It would be like an add-on type thing. We really didn't want to move on with this because the target market wasn't really catered towards college students. Instead, it was more to like a unique niche market. And even with that, it's a very small market at that. And profit in the long run would be pretty difficult. The third design, the one we ended up moving forward with because of just overall the best estimates of eventual product success was the ramen maker. It'd be an automatic ramen cooker that could make ramen noodles pretty easily. So let's talk about it. What is this? This uh, ramen cooker, it's gonna take in one user input and be able to output fully cooked ramen in only minutes. We imagine that it'll dispense hot water, it'll also stir it, and even heat it while it's stirring through a heating element in the stir. That's where we're at right now, and we think this is gonna benefit the lives of college students because they're time restricted and they're going to be able to eat their ramen noodles quickly and more efficiently. We really think that this has to be economically viable and it should make a profit, especially at the price range of about $25, $30 is what we're really working at for our business goals. Obviously, we're going to be working with uh, college students here for our customers, but we're going to extend that to uh, uh, parents too, busy parents, multiple kids, and it's a lot to juggle with. We're going to assume this is going to be a derivative of other product plat of derivative of other product platforms, similar to like a rice cooker or a coffee maker. It's going to fall in that same category of uh, machines. And of course, throughout the pro process, we're going to be considering our stakeholders, including VTEPs and our customers. So, speaking of our customers, what are they going to look like? Well, let's give an, an example of a prospective customer. Well, they're a student off ca campus, probably a sophomore, majoring in engineering, rigorous course load. They have 19 credits and they're busy. They're working all the time because they're a hard worker and they want to be successful, but they've got all sorts of hobbies that, they've, that they're juggling right now. They have organizations and club sports to work with. So they own a lot of things that are make it easier to complete these tasks. And they might have a bike or machines that make their lives more easy, like a laptop or a really nice calculator. But they're not going to own things like a gaming console, something that would make their life more inefficient in a way towards their eventual goal of being successful. They're only going to buy things that they put some research into and that can make their lives better because ultimately their philosophy is to be successful and do it as efficiently as possible. So how is the customer going to use this? Let's think of some flows that they're going to go through. Well, one basic flow that they're going to do is they're going to come home from work work or school because they're a student and they're going to be really tired from a busy day of lectures. They're going to come home, they're going to use the ramen cooker and it's going to prepare ramen for them quickly and easily and they can just go about their day with ease. That's how this is mostly going to work. But there's also some other flows that this could take. Now let's say it's late at night, you're cram studying for a test. The hunger pains are setting in, they're wondering do I have time to make food, I don't know. This is where the ramen cooker comes in because they can simply go to their kitchen, press the start on their ramen cooker, go back to studying and still come back to fully cooked ramen 
without even having to watch it, and they're minimizing the time spent with meal prep. They still get food and they can get their studying done. Well, let's look at another flow. They come home from uh, lectures again, and this time they have a meeting in 20 minutes. Now they have to shower, prepare for their um, meeting, and also make food. They're not gonna be able to do all this in 20 minutes. Again, this is where the ramen cooker comes in. They're gonna be able to press start on the ramen cooker, and in a short amount of time, have their ramen cooker done, have their ramen noodles done for them. As you can see, in all of these um, conditions, they all end with fully cooked ramen. They all require minimal user input, and they're all done in a very limited time. So, moving forward with this project, how are we gonna do this? We've got a host of things to complete, and we're gonna do it through um, this Gantt chart. We're gonna follow it pretty strictly. Looking at it, everything's essentially sequentially in order, except for um, intellectual, intellectual product research and concept generation. Those two will be done in parallel as they'll be happening at about the same time. We also have economic analysis throughout the entire process as we want to frequently update it as we get more and more detailed and it's always going to be considered through the process. And then finally, we also have two things in coupled, interestingly, design for manufacturer and industrial design. These two things are going to directly depend on each other as they're completed, so they need to be coupled in order to complete both of them. But also, looking at this, and our critical path, what's taking the longest? It's prototyping. We have allotted a lot of time to prototyping as we see this is going to be a very difficult thing in the construction of this uh, prototype, right? So if we want to complete this uh, project before the end of the uh, deadline, December 5th, we're probably going to take away time for prototyping, even though we'd really not like to. It just, we've allotted a lot of time for it and we think that would be the place to take it out. Moving on, we met with uh, six customers, four of which were from our primary market and two were adults from our secondary market. And we got a bunch of feedback from them. They said things like, I don't want to have to push a lot of buttons. I want my ramen to cook quickly. And I want, don't want my kid to get hurt. I want, it, it needs to be safe. We um, interpreted all these um, needs, they're obviously a lot, and we put them all together and made customer needs out of them. Once we were done with that, we gave the customer needs back to the customer in a survey to find out which ones were the most important and which ones were interesting and new. So this, these are the rankings that we got, and as you, and, but that's not really important because what really is important is when we put it into our quality function deployment. What this does, did, it was able to correlate their customer needs or the new customer needs from the raw data and that were interpreted and ranked, and also our specifications. From the correlation, we're also able to see the direction of improvement that we need, and also we're able to drive technical importance and technical priority, also from our technical difficulty. It's a lot to take in, but let's look at it more closely. What are the big takeaways here? Well, well based off the customer needs and correlation, we found that there's a high technical importance for cooking ramen, ramen fast. It needs to be done very easily. And it also needs to be, oh, and it doesn't need to have low maintenance. If maintenance is not a big priority here or of technical importance. However, cooking ramen fast is of high technical importance. Now, looking at te uh, technical priority, we can see the most important thing is it needs to cost less than existing alternatives. This means that when we're looking at other alternatives on the market, it needs to be cheaper. It needs to fill the market. So we did some more research on that. We did product benchmarking. The closest alternative that we could find was a $600 commercial ramen cooker. Huge investment, really used for like the use of like a company to like make money off of, let's say in a hotel. Completely unrelated to the ramen cooker that we're doing. However, this was the closest thing that we could find to an automatic ramen cooking machine, which means this is good for us because there's absolutely an open market for this that we can pursue. So, what are we gonna do with this? Well, we estimated based off of just rough estimates at the time we are right now that we could mass produce this uh, product for only $10 a unit. Selling this at a modest $25, we'd be, we'd be able to make a profit after 667 units every single year. This is more than doable, especially because there's 365 days in a year. 
there's an excessive market of students ha who eat, have ramen noodles, and it's in a very affordable price range. We definitely think this is going to be an economically viable solution. So, conclusions. What can we get from all this? Well, this product is going to be economically viable. We've met with our customers and we've interpreted their needs and matched them to, to specifications so we know exactly what we need to do with, through when we move forward with concept generation. We have a thorough project management through a Gantt chart. We know what's going to happen and when we need to do it in order to stay on task. And ultimately, we know exactly what needs to be done as we move into the production ramp up, the testing, and system level design. We're very proud that this is going, we're very, we think that this is going to be a very successful product, and we'd like to thank you for, I'd like to thank you for the time. If you have any questions, you can email me at jacobg77 at vt.edu. Thank you.